Hey everybody, I'm back, Annie Baker. I'm so excited. We have David Butler with Butler Home Loans again today, and we are going to break down the, just the nitty gritty on what is a reverse mortgage. So David, thank you so much for being here. Hey, it's a pleasure to be with you today, and let's uh, let's share with your clients what they can expect. We're going to start with what is a reverse mortgage. We want to give you the details of what, if, what it is and what the requirements are so that you and your clients know if they end up getting one. A reverse mortgage is a mortgage loan that allows you access to the equity in your home without having a monthly mortgage payment. Your home will be used as a security instrument for this mortgage. Now, a reverse mortgage is only available to people 55 and older. At 55, your reverse mortgage options will be limited. To get access to all the reverse mortgage options available to you, you need to be at least 62. Okay? When you take out a reverse mortgage loan, the title to the home remains in your name. There's a lot of people that think they're signing the home over to the bank and they're not. Nice. The loan is repaid when the borrower no longer lives in the home. This typically happens when the borrower dies, the home is sold, or the borrower moves out of the home. Okay. Now, I get a lot of people thinking, you know, what, you know, I don't owe anything. We all know that there is no free lunch. Okay. With a reverse mortgage loan, the amount the homeowner owes to the lender goes up, not down over time. As your loan balance increases, your home equity could decrease. A reverse mortgage loan is not free money. The homeowner or their heirs will eventually have to pay back the loan by refinancing or selling the home. Okay. The next sense. one is with a reverse mortgage loan, homeowners are required to pay the property taxes, the homeowner's insurance, the HOA dues and keep the home in good condition. You also need to show that there you have the income to pay it. Although the income requirements are fairly low, you still need to show that you can pay the bills that we just mentioned, plus any monthly bills that you would normally have, water, garbage, utility. So it's not anything that you're not paying already, but it's something that you need to be aware of, mm -hmm. okay? The next thing is the property must be your principal residence. It has to be owner occupied. If you're going to rent the property, reverse mortgage is, is a no-go, okay? To get a reverse mortgage, you typically have to own the property either outright or have at least 50% of more or more of equity. This will depend a little bit on your age, but you have to have quite a bit of equity in your home to get a reverse mortgage, okay? Mm -hmm. Reverse mortgage, perfect credit is not required. I've even gotten reverse mortgage for people that are in foreclosure. So yeah. you could be, you know, you don't have to have great credit, but you cannot be delinquent on any, on any federal debt. Interesting. Okay. I never knew that. Interesting. Borrowers, to get a reverse mortgage, borrowers will be required to participate in consumer counseling, okay, given by an approved counselor. When you apply for your reverse mortgage, you'll get a list of approved counselors and you can go down that list and you can call any one of them that you want, that you feel comfortable with. That's going to do the job for you. Typical, typical counseling cost is $150 or less, and the borrower needs to pay for it out of their own pocket. Mm -hmm. The last thing that you need to know about a reverse mortgage is interest on a reverse mortgage loan is not tax deductible until the borrower makes a partial or full repayment. Because a payment is not required, there is no interest being paid, so there's nothing to deduct unless they make a payment and or when the home is sold. So okay. this was fairly short, but that gives you kind of in a nutshell, the requirements and the, the idea of what a home, uh, a reverse mortgage is. Oh my gosh, David. Yeah, this is super helpful. Just having that basics right there will help people know, yeah, hey, I'm going to pursue looking into this or shoot, I'm not quite there yet. Or I, you know, I need to age a little bit or, or it's not my primary residence. That is a big one. Uh, I think some people think I'll get one and then I'll move out of my house and rent it. Well, you can't. It has to be your primary residence. Um, and they also think a lot of times they have to have really good credit. That's huge. I didn't even know that. Well, I'm happy to help. And as always, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to give me a call. No pressure. We're here to answer questions and here to help people as best we can. Oh Thank my God. Yeah, David, I love it. Thank you so much. You're such a great resource. So everybody, David's contact is here. Reach out anytime. Reach out to me if you have any other questions. Again, thank you for being here, David. And everyone have a great one.